Welcome to my backyard. So we're standing outside of uh, Primal Blueprint and Mark's Daily Apple headquarters where I want to give you a glimpse into how we've set up the workspace so that the employees get the greatest benefit of being in a healthy environment while doing work. You may have heard the term sitting is death. Well, we take that quite literally around here. And it all began a couple of years ago when my general manager hurt his back doing deadlifts. Uh, he eventually recovered, but he found out that while he's recovering, he couldn't sit at a chair and get his work done, so he had to stand at work and stand at his desk. And he literally set up the first stand-up desk at, at uh, Mark's Daily Apple. The other employees kind of saw what he was doing and said, that looks like it's actually kind of good for you, and, and uh, he seemed to enjoy it. So ultimately, everybody got into this whole stand-up desk routine here, and that's what we've done. We've created an environment where people are encouraged not to sit. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here comes the boss. <laughs> so I've, I've purchased uh, tread desks for anybody who wants one. And uh, so several employees here. And I thought it was just going to be a, you know, a whimsical kind of thing. It would be a fad that would pass. People would try them out and then stop doing them. But it's been about eight months now and we've had a lot of different uh, positive results from people having these tread desks at their workspace. So um, typically we're going about a mile and a half to 1.7 miles an hour. It's not so fast that you're, that you're jiggling and juggling, but it's uh, fast enough that you're moving and getting a, a, a decent amount of work done. Uh, and the main thing, and this is, this is quite interesting, the main thing that people notice is they don't have the workout hanging over their head at the end of the day. In other words, they could be here for eight hours and put in four, five, sometimes eight miles without really even thinking about it. Uh, as opposed to sitting at a desk all day and then thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta get home through traffic and once I get home I'm gonna be tired and I won't feel like going to do a workout. Well, that's no longer hanging over your head. You've actually done some work for the day. So that's um, multitasking at its best. Let's, let's take a look at uh, uh, what Liz has done here. So now Liz is in marketing and social media. So when she's not on her desk, as you can take a look over here, you can see she puts an anti-fatigue mat on her treadmill. She stands on the treadmill. So you don't have to move the treadmill. You just cover it with something. Uh, she stands barefoot. She can do squats. She can stand on one leg uh, at a time, do five minutes or, or 10 minutes on a side. Um, she can take uh, breaks whenever she wants and walk around the office. She happens to have a pull-up bar in her office, which a lot of people come in and use. Uh, and we encourage that whenever you want to take a break and just want to drop and do 10 push-ups or do a couple of pull-ups, that's encouraged as well. In here we have Sienna and she has again configured her desk in such a way that she uses some of the off-the-shelf uh, retrofitted stand-up desk thing. So this is a regular desk on which a stand-up desk um, uh, monitor stand and keyboard stand has been uh, uh, put on. And then, and, and this, is, this is Sienna's own particular kind of nuance, but every once in a while she gets into a writing frame of mind and she wants, she wants to, to kind of go into her, 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 her space, her space alone. alone. She wants to be alone and she wants to be with her thoughts and she wants to do some creative writing. So she will get off the treadmill and she will go into her little cave space and now she's in an entirely different environment, but it's an environment that in her case is suited to a different kind of creativity. This ground squirrel is arousing from hibernation. Hibernation is nothing like sleep. It is a complete slowdown in life process. All right, let's go across the hall to my shipping department where you'll see that we've made a few tweaks to the ergonomics in here. Um, we had a problem early on with people uh, getting lower back pain because they had to just stoop over or bend over too much to pick and pack some of the products. And the fix was as simple as raising the packing desks up about eight inches. 
So, you know, it's almost an obvious solution, except it, except it isn't in some cases. It uh, probably took us a couple of years to, to have that aha moment when we said, you know, we, don't, we ought not to be, to be bending over to do all of this, uh, this work, that, that each task in and of itself isn't much, but you, when you add it up over a period of eight hours in a day, uh, becomes a fairly significant burden on a, on a body. So we try to make it as, as unburdensome as possible. Um, again, typical little, little changes that you can make in a workspace that make a huge difference uh, in how the employees, how productive they are and whether or not they get injured. And So we've really configured this whole office to, around not sitting, around having an open, open hips all day long. And certainly everyone here has sound health. Exercise builds good health. All right, so I don't work at the office as much as I work out of my house. Uh, this is my workspace that I've created for myself here. It's a little cluttered. That's just uh, how I roll. But um, I do have a stand-up desk. I don't have a treadmill because I get a chance to take breaks a lot during the day. And since there's no one around to, uh, you know, crack the whip over me, I can take a break whenever I want to, uh, which is quite frequent. But when I'm at my desk, I'm at this wonderful focal desk. Um, this is a new innovation. The desk is a typical kind of configuration for a stand-up desk, but you can change the tilt on it. I can raise it or lower it with a, with a crank here. Um, but the most unique concept here is the, the so-called seat. It's not really a seat, it's a leaning post. And I just lean against this, um, and I keep a very open hip angle here, so I'm not really sitting. I'm leaning. My feet are against a, uh, you know, they're sort of um, set against a uh, cushioned uh, pad that Focal provides, and I can work all day at this if I want to. I can, uh, you know, the, the angle for the keyboard is just about right. I can uh, write, I can do emails or whatever. But if I want to stand, I just simply, you know, stand up and the, and the seat kind of falls back uh, out of the way. Um, and it's a, it's a very wonderful and unique way of, uh, of working without sitting and yet getting the benefit of a stand-up desk without having to stand all day. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Remember those simple rules of office etiquette and you'll get along in the business world.